Connecticut native and former Yukon Husky standout Mike Olt is living out a childhood dream. After getting called up to the Texas Rangers big league team, he is able to get a start against the Red Sox here at historic Fenway Park in front of family and friends. I just put down 15 tickets for just the family members. I know that. And then there's, I mean, people from high school, people from college, people all over the place are coming in. We're pretty lucky because we get the, uh, we get the Red Sox this week, and he's coming to New York next week, so we'll be able to catch those games and see him play on the big field. And with all these famous guys, it's unbelievable. His first road trip to get an opportunity to play here is, um, is a lot of fun. I mean, they don't really get too much better than, than coming to Boston. Um, he gets an opportunity to play a couple of night games. Day games in Boston are just a great experience. And uh, I know he's, he's from around here, so he gets an opportunity to play in front of his family and his friends. And uh, it's definitely something he'll never forget. Everyone that plays baseball wants to, wants to play at Fenway. And um, not a lot of people are able to say they do, so it's, it's huge. It's kind of surreal that this is our, my little brother out here. It's, yeah. it's crazy. It's unbelievable seeing him sign all these autographs. And it's, I mean, I've never been on a professional baseball field in my life in two days in a row to yeah. see my brother play. Starting at first, and I can't wait. It's unbelievable the all support I have with the hometown, my family, friends, UConn, Rangers fans, every, everyone. It just means a lot for me just knowing that I have all that support and they're going to be there every step of the way. The UConn communities come together, Brantford's come together. He has so much support behind him. It's really cool to see how this you know, group of people who've grown up watching Mike have come out. It's been something to watch over the years, you know, from Little League when, we, when he played and then from UConn and all the other teams. Everyone's had a part in kind of getting him here. He's worked real hard. He deserves it, you know, but everyone, we, you know, he has to thank everybody that's helped along the way. I'm just going to really enjoy tonight just to see him, you know, hit a couple over the monster and take my son with me to see him. It's just a thrill of a lifetime. In his very first Major League at bat on August 2nd, Mike got a base hit through the left side of the field against the Angels' C.J. Wilson, just one day after getting his call up from Double A. Going into the office, I had no clue I was going to get called up. Um, you know, I just thought they were going to kind of explain my situation and what they expect and what I need to work on. So when he told me I was going to call it up, uh, I pretty much couldn't talk. Just chills going through my body, listening to how excited Mike was. I mean, you could barely understand him. He was so happy. You know, it was everyone's dream. He's like, I'm going to Texas. I'm going to Arlington. I asked him, I was like, hey, guys, what's up? Like, what are you guys doing? And they're like, Mike, we're sleeping. It's 12.15, like what any normal people would be doing. And, you know, they're like, is anything wrong? Is everything okay? And I, when I told them, they, they didn't know if they were dreaming or not. So, uh it was a, a cool night for everyone. His first at bat, everyone was really anxious, and for him to rope a base hit was just phenomenal. The place went crazy. It was such a great atmosphere, and it was so much fun. I'm so happy for him. Once game time came around, I was I was really just focused, and you know I knew C.J. Wilson was a really good pitcher, and um, I was just. I guess nothing was really running through my mind, which is a good thing. It was great for us. I think it was a big help for Mike as well that we were able to get there. But the emotions, it's hard to sum up. It's really been great for him. It's been great for us to be out here and able to root him on. You know, when he first came up in Texas, I told him it's baseball the same where he come from. It's only at the major league level. They throw the ball over the plate. You do the same thing. You hit it. And um, he put a good stroke on it. His first at bat, his second at bat, the shortstop made a heck of a player. He got two base hits in his first two at bats. And a bunch of his former teammates knew that I wasn't seeing it, and they, it, it was almost better because they, they wanted to beat everybody else to the punch and tell Penders what's going on. So they were all texting me, and, and uh, I got such a blast you know, out of that. When I got a hit and saw them give a standing ovation, I just was, I had goosebumps you know, all the way down my body. And uh, the ball is safely in my locker. It's definitely a ball I definitely keep. I don't keep many balls. With two hits, two RBI, and two runs in his first week in the majors, it's clear that with his spot on a big league roster, Mike Olt is exactly where he belongs. The guys and coaches on this team made it really easy to settle, especially from the first time I walked in. You know, they all came up to me, congratulated me, really excited for me to be here. We got to know him pretty well during spring training. Um, he was around a lot. He was in big league camp pretty much the entire time, and uh, we knew right away he'd be a really good player. Uh, but I think we're really impressed with uh, he's a real good kid, shows everything that lets us know he's going to be a really good teammate. Um, and he's a, he's a great fit. I mean, it's a really good clubhouse to come into, and uh, he's fitting really well so far. He's a very committed kid, not to mention that he has talent. You know, he's really been doing a good job for us since he's been up here. He's showing maturity. He's ready to be here. So, and so far, he's been handling himself extremely well. If you bring that confidence and mental toughness every day, you've got a great opportunity to help your team go out and win a game. And, um, you know, he shows all the signs of being a winner and being a, a part of a championship caliber team. To have Mike Olt be the guy who, you know, the first guy that, that's made the big league since I took over the program from Coach Baylock, there are 
couldn't be a better representative of our program and what it means than, than Michael. It's really hard to get there and uh, you know the good news is we're a real small community in Connecticut and we'll all root for each other and I do that with him except for when he's playing against me.